Tinubu suspends National Social Investment Program. Ah, I know that this is the program that is uh, headed by Halima Shehu under the supervision of Beta Edu. Okay, and I know that Halima Shehu has been suspended earlier because of some of these fraudulent activities that have been found in the ministry. But right now, Tinubu himself has succeeded in shutting down even the program itself. Wow. Let's get into the details to understand why Tunubu is taking this action. We know that it is it is not unconnected with the current uh, investigation that's ongoing um, about the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, which this program is under. President Bola Ahmed Tunubu has suspended all administered programs by the National Social Investment Program Agency, NSIPA, the federal government said. Announcing the suspension in a statement on Friday, the Director Information Secretary to the uh, Government of the Federation, Shigun Imohyosin, said the President decision was in view of the ongoing investigation of the alleged malfeasance in the management of the agency and its programs. All four programs administered by NSIPA, VIS N Power Program, Conditional Cash Transfer Program, Government Enterprise and Empowerment Program, and Home Grown School Feeding Program, the programs have been suspended for a period of six weeks in the first instance, the statement read. President Bola Tinubu has also raised significant concerns regarding operational lapses and improprieties surrounding payments to the programs beneficiaries. According to the statement, Tinubu also constituted a ministerial panel to conduct a thorough review of the agency's operations to recommend necessary reforms of the NSIPA. Now, during the period of this suspension, all NSIPA-related activities, including but not limited to all distributions, events, payments, collaborations, and registrations are now frozen. Tinubu also assured stakeholders and all Nigerians that his administration remains committed to a swift and unbiased process that will ensure that going forward social intervention programs will work exactly as intended to the benefit of the most vulnerable Nigerians. Oh boy. So this is exactly what is happening in the in this uh, social program and it's all about poverty alleviation and it's all about uh, you know humanitarian services by the government now it is obvious that most people that have implemented this program in the past or that have run this program in the past rather than transferring funds and helping the vulnerables they were rather happy helping themselves they turned themselves to to the to the vulnerables and we are mostly alleviating the poverty for themselves because um Everybody, you know, suspected that these people could not have been doing this job the right way. And so for Tinubu to have come and uh, shut down this program, and uh, he has given the reason that he wants to be sure that the fund funds are transferred properly to the beneficiaries and everything is working the way it should work. So this is shut down for, first, for six weeks in the first instance. That means that if at the end of the six weeks, and there are reasons to continue the suspension, they will continue the suspension. Okay? Every ongoing program has been, you know, shut down, and uh, they have to investigate and be sure that things are working the way they should work. And I'm sure this is, like I said earlier, this is not unconnected with the ongoing investigation under the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, because this is part of the Humanitarian Affairs programs. And I'm sure also that this program is under Beta Edu's uh, uh, supervision or purview. Hmm. Wow. When are we going to change? Every time that we have opportunity to work or to do something in the country, we use it to enrich ourselves. The thing is, what thing I go get? What thing be for inside? Well, how am I going to get it? If it's not juicy, if there's nothing attractive for you, you will not take the role. But you take it as people are taking roles, the first thing that looking at what they can take out of it first, even before even rendering the service that is expected. 
Nigeria. God will help us. So now that Tinubu has shut the program down, let's see how it's going to continue. Let's see what they're going to unravel from this. And somebody is saying, this is double standard. When terrorist act is committed in the South, the perpetrators are tagged as gunmen. But if the same offense is committed in the North, okay, so there's something different here. This is, uh, this is uh, uh, a different activity, okay? Uh, somebody said, Nigerians don't need the programs. Mr. President should concentrate on electricity for all uh, consumers of Nigeria. Get all refineries working, okay, to reduce uh, fuel pump price through competition and wipe out banditry, kidnapping, robberies, and other crimes. Let all those four programs be stopped. They are no priority for Nigeria. Exactly. Exactly. Out of the out of the 200 to 250 million Nigerians, over 75 percent are in absolute poverty. Okay. So since they started all this empire program, all these humanitarian programs, how many Nigerians have benefited from it? If if uh, before Buhari left office, he said he was going to uh, remove is it 100 million people from poverty but before he left office he succeeded in throwing additional 130 million people into poverty so what it means is that if over 70 percent of nigerian population is in poverty and less than 10 percent has actually benefited from this program then the purpose is defeated that is the truth because the question is how did you arrive at your master list of the beneficiaries how did you collate what are your criteria have you ever reached them and even if the ones you reached did you pay them exactly what they were supposed to be paid ah now what for this these people so that is why some people are saying here shut the program down we don't need it it is because it is not serving the purpose go and make sure electricity and security every other thing about the society both political social economic vices are removed for life to be better for people. Go and make the refineries work, let the petrol product be available, and let the petrol pump price be reduced to what is affordable. Those are the programs you should do that will benefit everybody. These particular poverty alleviation programs, or whatever you call it, end power and market money, school feeding, all those things are not benefiting the masses, so take it out. People, and this is an open-ended project that people just take money anyhow without audit. Ha. Huh. Oh, wow. Okay. Somebody say better what the corruption has eaten deep into the whole ministry. I tell you, even the sleeper and cooker in the in that ministry is a thief. <laughs> even the sleepers, the sanders, the footwears, and the cookers in the kitchen, almost everything in the ministry is um, is a thief. <laughs> that, 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 that not be smart, you know. Yeah. I know it's what I tell you. It's quite an unfortunate situation, I tell you. Because no matter the reform, the political actors will look for all means possible to ensure the money do not get to the targeted population, but ended up in their pockets. Political actors and elites have constituted themselves into vulnerable groups for NSIPA fund. One thing I know the wicked shall never go unpunished. Exactly. Because the people in that ministry turn themselves to the vulnerables. That is how bad it is. They said you should identify the vulnerables. You went and collected some names. At the end of the day, those names you collected are not really getting anything. You go and be giving people 3,000, 5,000. And you come and say you have given out 7 billion, 1 billion, 2 billion, 100 million. Eh? How many people did you reach? Who did you talk to? What is the where is the record? Give us the report at the accounting. The account, how accountable are you? Oh man. So it is good that um uh, Tunubu has shut it down. Let them go and find something else to do. Hmm. And some say it will be difficult for Nigeria to operate this scheme because in advanced countries where it is operated well, it is through the income declaration uh, uh, income declaration. That the government uses to know the people to be assisted exactly. Hmm? 
but the, the problem is here we almost everybody in Nigeria is vulnerable there's practically nobody that is free so how are you going to determine who is most vulnerable how are you going to determine how much does someone need because everybody will not get the same amount so it's better it's shut down i tell you the truth better it is shut down so thank you for listening and let's have your comment i still will have shut down that uh, nsipa for for six weeks for proper um, investigation and evaluation